there's a room, guys. I don't know any guy who's probably gotten an erection and excited listening to I don't know. Like the music going. It's kind of weird. Well, let's get to it. Sorry, I gotta shut the camera off for this, otherwise we won't be able to put this up. Good morning! We are literally back in the same exact spot uh, that we were yesterday, <laughs> and we're doing like the whole thing all over again. So he just spermed everywhere, and in the All hour, over the room. I mean, it went everywhere. On the floor, on the wall, on the ceiling. He got in, I was like, how'd everything go? He's like, oh, it was very different this time. <laughs> Go ahead. Well, the, ro the room is the same, but this one had a sound system, mm -hmm. so they had really like loud music. So I went in, had like Christina Perry playing, I think it was like Arms, like very nice, like, you know, kind of a sad song. So I think like for some people it could be difficult, because then they had some super lame song. You know, like when you hear a song that you really just hate, and you're like, oh, God. <laughs> so fortunately, I'm able to power through these kind of difficult, situ difficult situations and make the best of it. I was making a joke that, like, to the doctors yesterday that I think it's so unfair <laughs> that, like, the guys get to masturbate and then, but the girls have to, like, take all these, like, horrible medications and, like, hormones and shots and painful procedures and, like, for me, a surgery that was, like, painful. So many things that, like, we have to go through and the guys are just like, <laughs> there was such bad music in the masturbation jerk-off room. <laughs> like, uh, my life is so rough. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Shut the fuck up with your complaining. <laughs> right now we have probably like, what time do we have to be back? 11? Yeah. 11, so, 11, so, 10. um, so we're probably gonna like try to go find something to do in the meantime. Maybe go like shop around or grab some food or something. And then, uh, we're gonna come back and do the back-to-back -back IUI. So I'm having an, the second IUI done today. Um, I had one yesterday. And now they're doing it again today. I guess just to like better my chances. I'm not really sure exactly, but that's what we're doing. I'm still nervous for some reason. Are you? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, it's fun. I'm already so hot. Yeah. Hey you guys, second IUI back to back is done. Um, it definitely hurt a little bit more this time than yesterday. I don't know if it's because I was like pretty sensitive and sore from yesterday's treatment. Um, but it's over, we did it. We have the timer going, 10 minutes to lay down, and then I'm gonna go home and rest because I'm sore. Okay, so we just got out of the fertility place. Whew, I am sore, you guys. Uh, I, I think he has a little bit of trouble getting into my uh, uterus. Dingy. Yeah, so maybe that's why, because he has to like mess around in there. Travis wanted to know what his sperm was. Um, so yesterday, Travis's sperm count, like washed sperm, was 44 million. And today we were curious what it was gonna be because we thought like, you know, it goes down if you like do it two times in a row. And today, More than it was- More 24 hour period. Like, yeah. It's no, not much time to like build back up or anything. Right. So today was 46 million. And I'm like, ugh, when he asked the nurse how much it was and she told me, I was just like, Travis had the biggest smile on his face. Like, he was so proud. <laughs> he was so fucking proud of himself. And I was just like, you're so proud. And we were like laughing on the way out because he just had the biggest grin on his face because he was like, I did my part. Like, I'm a man. I'm a manly man. Because <laughs> he had so much, um, he had more sperm today than he did yesterday. Anyways, we thought it was funny. And I was like, oh, I knew as soon as she said that, I was like, you just made my husband's head grow even more than it already was. Well, Buckles, that's, I, give, I tell you, I give you everything that I have. And they said, I guess the minimum that you need is 8 million. And you read that, what was the 20 million or something was? Like, yeah, it makes no, your it, like, success your rates a little bit higher, yeah. I mean, that's at least what I read. I don't know if it's true. But uh, yeah, so I gave Trav a high five in the office. High five, babe. 
go team. <laughs> and the nurses were like, go team, you did good. <laughs> They're really cool and I really like them. Um, so yeah, that's how today went, it went good. Um, it's like a really cloudy, gloomy day today, let me show you. So right now we're just on the way home. Again, I'm gonna take it easy. I asked the doctor if I could exercise and like go snowboarding and he said no. <laughs> and I said, well, for how long? And he said, until you find out if you're pregnant, which I was just like, whoa, I wasn't expecting to not be able to like work out or anything, but I guess they just want me to take it easy and that's fine with me. Listen, we're paying a lot of money and have put invested a lot of our time and energy and emotions into this. And if they tell me not to work out or snowboard for two weeks, like I'm not gonna do it just because like obviously we're gonna do everything in our power to make a baby and not screw that up when we're going through all this. So and it's, I'm kind of bummed out because like right towards the end of the our two week wait, uh, my sister and her boyfriend are coming into town and we're all supposed to go snowboarding and so I'm gonna be kind of bummed because I probably won't go snowboarding with everybody and I'll be like by myself at the hotel just like twiddling my thumbs. I don't know, I'll find something to keep myself busy but I was just kind of bummed out about that. But other than that, we're just gonna take it easy. I'm gonna try to keep myself as busy as possible during these next two weeks so I'm not like stressed out. I'm gonna, you know, try to stay off social media as much as I can, which is, I've found that very difficult to do. Um, but I've been doing pretty good. Like I've been preoccupying my time mainly on like Pinterest. And by social media, I just mean like, in, like mainly Instagram and Twitter. Cause like Snap, I've been on Snapchat and like Pinterest a lot. Um, and like I'll watch some YouTube videos here and there but for, you know just trying to stay away from the negativity is mainly like what I'm trying to do and Trav has been really supportive and amazing because he just is an amazing you. husband and has been so good to me um, and trying to make me like laugh and stuff when I'm nervous and yeah it's been good yes. so we're on our way home I'm gonna relax I'm gonna watch my Heart of Dixie show that I like so much and uh, just relax and take it easy. So that's what we're gonna go do. Hey guys, I just woke up from a really long nap. <laughs> I've been sleeping a lot. Um, Chad and I fell asleep on the couch together with Bandit, like you, a little family you nap. You look so pretty right now. Oh, I look so gross. We did, we all, we took a little nap on the couch. Mm -hmm. When I got in the middle there, the Bandit came over. We were nice and snuggly and we all just <laughs> fell asleep. Um, but I'm gonna jump in the shower. I'm definitely really sore and I'm really tired and my belly is like swollen. I don't know if it's from all the food I've been eating or if it's from like this IUI. Let me show you. I don't know if like you could tell or not, but it's just like, I don't know, I feel like my stomach is just really like irrit irritated from everything that's like gone on in the past few days up inside there and I I don't know it feels like bruised um and like swollen so but I've been taking it easy I've literally just like been laying here and watching shows and that's about it so I'm gonna end today's vlog thank you guys for coming along with us um and uh yeah if you like this video make sure to give it a thumbs up don't forget to leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't already but i'm sending you all my love and all my positive energy and i hope to see you in my next video ah.